so now let's create another account so for this now this is the paypal lithuania home page and we are going to use it as a front because to show you how the how strong the limitations are this is just the home page of the one entered inside our home page just had, has only personal personal options which is um, pay online search for deals send payments here they have personal they have business they have partners and developers and um, with this you 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 not just receive money from Stomach Academy but you have a whole lot of other options you can perform with your PayPal account and it's usually great if you can to all that with your account so let's jump right in so first of all we click on sign up and to show you um, sign up for people it's free choose from two types of account personal account and business account we're going for the business account so continue please ensure that you don't miss the um, the URL is paypal.com slash LT slash home and it takes you to the to the page paypal.com slash LT slash home that's how you get there please don't forget so moving on this is sign up for your business account so we give them our email we click on continue we create a password for it you can continue to tell us about your business your legal first name we give them the legal first name let's just call it um linkin park okay legal business details um legal business name let's just call it um gold um okay let me let me create a Thomas Mass Academy account okay so the business phone number now I'm going to show you two numbers you can use in this video now these numbers are not really used for anything they are just used to set up the people account so I'm going to give you two options in this video so this is the first option is a is a number is a Lithuanian number but do you don't need this number for anything you're just going to give them for the sake of creating the account because if you give them all these details and you fail to give them a number from Lithuania this is their country code for the country if you click down you see this is this is the country Lithuania so that's the country we're using so you have to give them a number that tallies with their country code so the first option I'm giving you for this tutorial is 745-876 or 744-918 but the, the thing here is you can just play around with these numbers but just maintain the maintain how maintain the format so you can just play around with numbers so maybe you can just use um 722 662 so it still falls under the the way their numbers are so let's just use that one we're supposed to give them our address so let's just fill in the address box and proceed with so and we're going to use um so what happens is anytime you come to this page we usually suggest for you so you just type in maybe a first letter the first word or something but usually k usually works so just type in k and it will give you a whole options of addresses that you can choose from so let's just choose that so the next phase we we'll just copy the same details into this next box here I'll oh, just mark this same as business address for So they just give us a little puzzle to solve and 
we proceed just to ensure that we are human beings. So now that we're done with that, they say describe your business. So we come down, we select maybe we an individual business, if we private corporation, ISO proprietor. So let's just say it's an individual business. We say um, the product service keyword. So let's say um, educational content or something. So let's type education. The schools and educational services. If you have a website, you give them. So let's just give them a website. Um, so yeah, we can always fill that in later. So let's continue. So they ask us tell us more about you. Now this is the page where I want you to be focused on because this is where you now give them your Nigerian phone number. So let's proceed. So your date of birth, give them any date, choose any month of the year, give them your year. So now remember you have to leave your nationality as the 20 and if not to flag they will flag the account as red so your, your residential address you have to take this the same as business address your phone number this is where you now have to change the number to a nigerian phone number because whenever you want to log in there's a people security that shows that always sends a text to this phone number and that's why it's important so you now give them a nigerian phone number Click on submit. So now that we submitted, we are now inside the PayPal home. They are just trying to help us set up the, the place. So they are asking us what do we sell. We say we sell goods, we sell services. Now remember, when we created your account, they didn't ask us any of this. So for example, now opening an account in Streamers Academy, obviously you sell service, you sell goods in terms of the courses you make, because you sell, or you sell services in terms of you help people sell their courses as an affiliate marketer. So we click on all that, we click on next. Um, how would you like to sell, take payments on your website, your app, send invoices, create links, you can use to request payments. How do your customers purchase your products, buy in a single transaction? Finally, what type of setup experience is best for you? A pre-built solution that doesn't require coding, a custom solution that you can tailor to your business, let your developer take care of it for you. So we're just going to choose this one that doesn't require coding. Um, start setup. So you they say here a few apps you can use to get started. Set up people check out, send an invoice and all that. So we're just going to we're just going to skip all this. And go to our home page now on the home page you will notice two things um, you will see your okay they say take it up but we'll leave it for now so you notice two things now the first thing is um you see your paper balance and you notice that is in euros so um i'll come back to this i'm just going to briefly change it to okay let's just change it now We are just going to change the primary currency from euros to dollars. So we click on make primary.
so now we've made this the primary um primary currency let's also set up the account now as your account is now your account is a fully functional paypal account now you can see the difference between this page and the one we saw on the nigerian paypal account so but now we're going to do just two more things now to ensure that the account is fully is completely functional the first is they say confirm your email address so if you don't confirm your email address then the account is still useless because there are limitations on the account Okay, so we are confirming the email now. So they said they sent it. So let's check our inbox to confirm. So after we click on this, we enter our password. Remember what I told you about the phone number I said. So now, for example, if you look here, just to log in, they always send this text message to your phone number. So let's click on continue. So that's why it has to be a Nigerian phone number. That's the only thing that makes the whole setup process different. So as of now we have a confirmed PayPal account and we are halfway done. Just one last step remaining and every other thing is good to go. Now the thing is we have to link and confirm a debit or credit card to the account so that we can lift the account limits and be able to send and withdraw more. So now in order to do this is um we need a particular kind of card because paypal doesn't work with every card especially nigerian cards so we after a lot of research and all i discovered that um we discovered that the best card to use for your paypal account and your online business transactions uh is a card called the uba prepaid card and you can get this card by just walking into any UBA branch near your house and um, requesting for a prepaid card it takes about 10 20 minutes and they'll give it to you so what the prepaid card is is um is a card that is like is a card like an account just like you have your your prepaid meter for light bills and your TSTV cards and all that that you load and you use so that's how it is it's just you you on you get the card you get the UBA prepaid card. This is how it looks. They usually write prepaid on top here. So you get the card. They give you the card. You can even pay for the card later. It costs about one thousand or two thousand naira to to get the card. But they give you the card free. You now load the money into the card to pay for the charges of the card. So when you get the card, you load money inside. And how you load money inside is um you buy you load money by um. Yeah, you load money by either paying directly over the counter in the UBA bank or you send the money into your UBA account, then transfer the money from the UBA account into the card. And there are ways to do it, you can get that all that at the bank. So, but when you get this UBA prepaid card, you now come back here in your PayPal listing, you now link your card. So, there's a place for adding your debit or credit card. I think I will, I think I was logged out. So let me log in again. So please don't forget you have it has to be a UBA prepaid card for the whole thing to work. So remember what I told you about your phone number. They always send this text if you're logging in just for security reasons. They always send your code to the phone number. So it has to be a number that is working and that is accessible. So and when you're linking the card, they usually two things usually happen. Number one is um they usually debit 
money from your account so you uh, usually suggest you leave um, about three thousand naira in the card why did they bid the money did they bid about two dollars it's just to test the functionality and the payment like the ease with which it flows so they take the money and they pay it back immediately into the account again so um, 